Today we're taking a look at a photo outing with 11 to 22 millimeter lens. Great run for photos, of course. Really nice wide angle on the APS-C sized sensors, but I also use it a lot for video. But in this case, doing photos. I went to one of my favorite parks in the area, walking paths, bike path, also a large manicured garden area, which is where I took most of the photos. With the wide angle lens, it's a great setup for taking photos of flowers. You get up close, get different angles with that wide, right at 11. You can also use 22, depending on the situation, what works for you, what your style is. But when you use it ultra wide, in those situations, you get up close, Got really nice contrast, nice colors with this lens, really pops. There is a train track that goes through the park. Usually I see a trolley there. There is a city trolley that goes through there. I didn't know the actual full-size trains go on there, so there was one that showed up. Took a few quick photos of it. In the garden area, there are a lot of beautiful flowers. Now there are some bugs that seem to be causing some issues with the flowers, but definitely still some nice ones to take photos of. Saw some really beautiful pink flowers, tried to use different angles with that flower, with the multiple flowers, getting some of the background, some of the foreground. From there, they have a large circular brick structure. It's a clock, actually. They didn't have the full clock piece in there, but they had it full of flowers, usually. Of course, every year, they change up the style of it. In that situation, you can use almost any angle and get a full photo with all flowers. Definitely a lot of nice color. Good situation. Large patches of flowers. Of course, great to get that set of flowers in the entire image. There are a lot of situations here that you can do that very easily. I believe these flowers are yellow corn flowers. Really beautiful. They're a little similar to the sunflowers, but a lot smaller. And then the center area really juts up from the leaves. With those, they're great subjects. Different angles get something really interesting, and they're just extremely vibrant with the yellow. You can use one in the foreground, have a bunch in the background, and you have this nice bright image. Or you can shoot from below to get the flowers plus the sky in the background. In the garden area, they do have multiple water features, a large pond, but also smaller ones as well with nice little waterfalls. In those situations, you have a lot of options with photos. You can take a photo of the waterfall, take photos into the water to get the rocks and textures from that. It's really clear water, of course, so it's a great opportunity. In the pond they have fish, great opportunity as well. I think it would work a bit better with a long telephoto lens, but in this case, got a few photos of them. There is a large glass and metal structure in the park that is the conservatory. You can pay a fee and go in there. You have different flowers, different setup. You can easily use the conservatory itself as a subject in the photos. Use the walls as leaded lines. Nice curve to that one wall in front of it that I was taking photos of with the conservatory in the background. When you look at the world, of course, green is a very prominent color with plants. So even with greens, you can get different types of greens, different shades of greens. In these photos, the greens really pops, extremely vivid. I like how it looks. Same situation with these ornamental grasses, nice vibrant green to them. Throughout the park, there are a lot of insects, of course, right now, and a great opportunity for taking photos of bees. I've been talking about them a lot lately in my photo videos. I think they're one of my favorites to take photos of, but these ones were pretty hyper, pretty quick. They were kind of difficult, especially with a wide-angle lens like that. In a lot of situations, you probably want to use something more telephoto. Hope you enjoyed going on this photo outing with me. I really love going out there just doing simple photo outings, taking photos with different combinations of lenses, trying different techniques, just really going out, enjoying the time, taking a walk, and whatever else. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video itself. If you did, please consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. Thanks again.